Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We are coming fresh off of that win versus Stanford and heading into this matchup versus Alabama. But first, before starting this next matchup, we want to talk about players of the game last week. And we talked about this in the last Dynasty. We kind of introduced a little bit players of the game. That means if you're a player of the game on offense, and one on defense, you get a boost in awareness. Since NCAA Football 14 does not have a progression system at all during the season, this is just a good way to progress, guys, and kind of make it realistic. You know, if you have a good game, you get better throughout the season. So this is the way to progress, guys, with it still being, you know, realistic in a way. So um, we are going to look at some stats, and, you know, some guys that I do want to get going, our defensive line isn't having the greatest of a start to the season. I mean, Caleb Oaks had a really good first game, and then after that, uh, nobody else has really done anything. And I, one guy I do want to highlight here is Bryson Bridges. He's 83 overall. He's our best-rated guy on the whole entire roster, and he's got one tackle. I definitely want to see him improve going into this game. You see he's 83 overall, 85 strength, 84 tackling. 80 power moves and 82 block shit. I mean, he's not a bad guy at all. And I'm looking for him to kind of make an impact on this game. I mean, we're going to need it, especially going into Alabama, Tuscaloosa. And you know, we're going up against Nick Saban, and they have a very, very good offense. Tua Tugavaloa is their quarterback. Damian Harris, Najee Harris, Jacobs. I mean, all three of these guys are over 100 yards through two games I mean that's just insane and this is gonna be a very very tough game I mean it's Alabama but let's just look at their leading receiver here Henches is actually their leading re receiver here at tight end Thursday reception 114 yards but the guy we got to watch out for here is Jerry Judy the sophomore red shirt actually they did play three games already I was mistaken but they lost to Tam U on the road already I don't know what's up with Alabama and NCAA football but they're just not the dominant force like in real life. And a lot of other people have commented and like pointed this out. And Alabama just seems to fall off a little bit. Hopefully they, you know, continue to be pretty good in this dynasty alone. Because I do it, it is always better when Alabama is good because it's just interesting. I mean, it's just more lifelike and it brings the dynasty to life. So here we go. We're starting out this game on defense, and right away there's Jerry Judy. We highlighted him before the game. He's getting going on that catch. So now here's Damian Harris getting the handoff up the middle, 10 yards, and they're already moving the ball on the first two plays of the game. So now on a second and inches thrown out to Henches, their leading receiver at tight end, and he picks up five. So here's Tua from the shotgun running out to the right side, and that's Jesse Ozuna, the junior, getting in for the tackle, and now we get him down to a third and nine. So here is Tua from under center this time, thrown out to the right side, and that's caught by Jerry Judy we thought that was picked off for a second but instead it's caught in another first down so now here's Tua under center on a second and nine throwing the ball across the middle that's Judy again 11 yards so now on a first and 10 here's Najee Harris getting the hand out to the right side and that's Jesse Ozuna again on the tackle as he now has two tackles for losses early on on this first drive so now on a second and 11 here is Harris getting the handoff one more time and Damian Harris getting to the outside gain of 10 so third and one here's Najee Harris into the game and he barely picks up the first down gain of two while breaking a tackle and they get it down to a second and goal so here is Damian Harris back into the game and he's getting into the end zone and man Tua led that team down the field and they didn't look back they make it a 7-0 game. So here is Montel Aaron handing the ball off to Roberson, Roberson to start this game. I thought Montel Aaron was very, very impressive in the last game. So he's looking to build off of that performance. So now in a second and three, getting it out to Josh Oliver. He's completing the pass for eight yards. And one of the aspects of this offense I do want to expose a little bit is Josh Oliver. I mean, he's a great tight end to me. He's a senior, though. So we're going to have to utilize him in this year. And especially, you never want to test Alabama's corners. They have the, one of the best cornerback, the, one of the best secondaries in the NCAA each year. And we kind of want to throw closer to their linebackers. We want to stay away from those guys. So that's what we're going to do. So here's Roberson on the screenplay. He gets to the outside. 
and he picks up a 31-yard gain. Look at the vision from Roberson as he picks up 31 yards. So now we're inside the 10. So now on a first and goal, here's Monto. Aaron throwing across the middle. He's going to find Bailey Gaither for the touchdown. And look at Montel Aaron on that one, five for five, and he's perfect, and he ties this game up at seven apiece as now Alabama comes back out onto the field. So here's Tua Tugavaloa on the next play, giving it out to Damian Harris, and that's a stop by who? Ethan Aguayo. Ethan Aguayo, we have a lot of good linebackers right now, and here he is once again, another tip. So two good plays by Ethan Aguayo as we bring it down to a third and 13. So here's Tua throwing out to the right side, and that's Hedge just one more time, and he's picking up the first down. Tua even starts six for seven. So now second and 11 throwing out to the right side. It's Tua finding Hedge just one more time in the 20-yard gain as he's been uncoverable in this game. So second and six, here's Tua from the shotgun throwing over the middle, and that's Waddle this time picking up the 15-yard gain. And we are not doing anything on defense so far as Tua is doing what he wants. So here on the first and 10, here's Damian Harris getting the pitch play out to the left side. And he's picking up 15 yards. So inside the five-yard line, here's Tua throwing out to the left side. And that's a touchdown. Henry Ruggs, the third, getting open. And they make it 14-7. to So can we match Alabama early on in this game? So here, throwing out to Trey Hartley on a first down play, and that's four yards on that one. So now facing a third and six. Montel Aaron rolling out to the right side, throwing out to Hartley, but he can't turn up field, and he runs out of bounds. So we get it down to a fourth and two, and it's Alabama. we got to go for this as we hand the ball off to Tyler Nevins, and that's a first down and a pickup of six as we move the chains. So first and 10, here is Montel Aaron from the shotgun. Once again, rolling out to the right side, facing some pressure from the left. He's going to throw it on the run. He's going to find Josh Oliver, 37 yards down the field. And Montel Aaron starts this game out 8 for 9, and he is keeping pace with this Alabama offense. So now second and 9 under center this time, handing it off to Roberson. And Roberson only picking up one yard as we get it to a third and 8. So here he is from the shotgun, throwing out to the right side, and he's going to miss an open man. That's Ty Cottrell, who was open on the slant route, and we do have to settle for the field goal. So 10-14 to 14 going into the second quarter. As here's Damian Harris getting the handoff up the middle and picking up a gain of six. So second and four, here's Damian Harris once again getting a handoff, and this one is a gain of nine. We got to get some push up front. So now here's Tua, tug of a lower, throwing across the middle, and that's Jerry Judy breaking a tackle, breaking another tackle, one more. And he's picking up a huge gain on that one of 27 as he moves it to the 30-yard line. So now here's Tua from the shotgun once again. Play action fake to Damian Harris, and that's Jerry Judy with the one-handed catch on the sideline as they move the chains once again, so here is Tua throwing out to the left side. That's Henches one more time. He's getting inside the five to about the one yard line. So now on a first and goal, running Smith in motion. Here is Harris getting the handoff. We almost had the tackle in the backfield, but Damian Harris avoids it and he gets in for the touchdown. Alabama is three for three so far to start this drive as it's now 21 to 10. So here is Montel Aaron trying to run a reverse that time that's a botch play and it ends up being a gain of nothing so second and 10 from the shotgun thrown out to the left side and that's Roberson but he can't stay in bounds a loss of two so third and 12 here's Montel Aaron once again facing some pressure but this time he's going to find this guy and that's Josh Oliver we said we wanted to expose these linebackers a little bit they're not really coverage linebackers they're more of run stoppers as we get the big gain on that one. So here's Trey Hartley getting a 15 yard reception on the left side as we move the ball to the 23. So here's Roberson getting the handoff and that time he's taking a huge hit as that's only a gain of three. So now we get it to a third and six. Here is Montel Aaron under center this time. Dropping back and this time he's gonna face some pressure. He's gonna cough this one up and he coughs it up in field goal range, and that is a turnover by this Alabama defense as Monta Aaron tried to get rid of that one at the last second, and he fumbles it 
and now Alabama takes over with a minute left in the half with three timeouts. So we haven't kept them out of the end zone yet. So here's Tua on a first down run, getting to the outside, and that's a gain of 11, and that is going to be a first down. So here on a first and 10, 57 seconds left in this first half, throwing across the middle, and that's Damian Harris again, and he picks up 10 yards this time through the air. So now on a first and 10. Under center this time, thrown across the middle. That's Waddle, and look at that speed across the middle. He gets a field, and that's a gain of 16. So now 40 seconds left. Here is Tua once again from the shotgun, thrown out to the right side. A wide open Henry Ruggs, the third, and he picks up the touchdown. Look at Tua's stats. 16 for 18, over 200 yards and two touchdowns as he makes this a 28-10 to 10 lead going into half. So now to start this second half, we do start out with the ball, but in a deep hole already as our defense has not been able to stop this offense. And here on a play-action fake, they're not letting Montel Aaron scramble out of the pocket. He has to throw that one away. So now under center on the second and 10, throwing to Josh Oliver, and that's a gain of 11. The senior tight end is almost at 100 yards off of five receptions. So here is Malik Roberson getting the handoff, and this time cannot juke the safety doesn't fool Thompson on that one, and he gets smacked as now we get it to a second and four. So here's another handoff. Here's Roberson, another big hole, and Roberson getting a gain of 16, getting close to the 50 on that one. So now second and eight. Here's Montel Aaron under center, rolling out to the right side. This time he's going to try to throw it away, but he's getting sacked, and that's a loss of six. So now third and 14 at the 50-yard line. Here's Montel Aaron throwing out to the right side, and that's going to be dropped by Justin Holmes. But oh well, that probably would have been a punt anyway. So we do punt it back to Alabama. So here is Tua under center on a second and five, throwing out to the right side, and this time finding his backup tight end, Smith Jr., Herb Smith Jr., who's actually one of the top tight ends in the NCAA in real life, and he's going to be probably a pretty good projected pro. So here is Henches getting another reception, 17 yards on that one, as Henches is almost at 100 yards. So now first and 10, here is Henches again, 18 yards, as we cannot cover these tight ends, Jerry Judy included. I mean, everybody is getting involved. So here is Henches again, and I sound like a broken record here, as that one does put him over 100 yards on seven receptions. So now here is this running attack. On the draw play, Damian Harris picking up 10, breaking a couple of tackles, and he's at 67 yards himself on 16 carries. So here is Tua throwing over the middle this time, finding Devontae Smith 11 yards, and look at Tua. Only two incompletions so far in this game as he is just dominating us, and this was kind of expected. I mean, this is Alabama we're going up against, and look at Bailey Gaither even getting the catch on that one but taking a big hit as he makes a first down on that one. So now here is Roberson getting the handoff and somehow slithers through the middle and picks up 25 yards on that one. Take another look as the linebacker just over pursues on that one and Roberson hits the hole and he picks up 25. So first and 10 at the 30 yard line. Here's Roberson once again, getting the counter play, getting to the outside and he gets tripped up from behind, but that's a gain of five. I really like what I'm seeing from Roberson. So third and five, throwing a ball across the middle. That's Justin Holmes getting a nice catch and a nice gain, and that's a first down gain of eight. So now we're inside the 20-yard line. Here is Montel Aaron rolling out to the right side. This time going to throw to Justin Holmes again, but he drops an open pass, and that's a devastator because we needed that catch on that one. So we do get it to a third and eight, throwing the ball across the middle. That's Trey Hartley, and this time he holds on to the ball. And he picks up the first down, but look, there's a flag on the play. Clipping on the offense, so this one comes back. So third and 12, here's Montel Aaron this time, starting out from under center, throwing the ball deep to Bailey Gaither, and that one's gonna be tipped and almost picked off by Savion Smith. And that's gonna be another field goal as we make it 13 to 35. So here is Tua back out on offense this time. Jerry Judy throwing up two big stiff arms and picking up a gain of about 13. So now first and 10, 
Winding down this third quarter here is Tua throwing across the middle. And Ethan Aguayo is there again. He's having a silently a good game. But that's only still Tua's only third incompletion. So third and nine. Here is Tua throwing the ball deep this time, airing it out. And that's to Jerry Judy. But that's a nice play on defense from Zamore Ziegler. So we do get our first punt of the game here as we take back over on offense. Here is Trey Hartley getting the catch on the outside. And that's a gain of 14 as he's at 67 yards receiving. So now here's Montel Aaron under center, dropping back, throwing out to the right side. That's Tyler Nevins getting involved in the passing game as he picks up five yards on that one. So now facing a third and six, throwing the ball across the middle. That's Josh Oliver. He can't hold on to that one. And that's going to be a fourth and six. So we do line up to go for it. Here is Montel Aaron from the shotgun, throwing out to the right side. That's Bailey Gaither. Getting open for the 15-yard reception, and that's a first down. So now six minutes left in this game. Here is Ty Cottrell getting the jet sweep. Gain of four. He's been quiet in this game as they pretty much locked him up. So now on a third and seven, here's Trey Hartley getting the catch on the outside. He's picking up 15. So now first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Here's Montel Aaron rolling out to the right side. Picking up a couple of blocks from his lineman. Going to throw across the middle. He's going to try Thompson deep, and he's picked off. He's trying to throw to Trey Hartley on that one and just being a little too greedy. That was a just a prayer just throwing that up. I mean, we're down by three scores, three-plus scores, and that's just adding salt to the wound as a pick, his first of the game as Tua takes over. So now later in this drive, here is Tua inside the red zone now. He takes it that himself, picks up a first down. So now here is Damian Harris breaking a tackle and spinning out of it and somehow getting inside the five-yard line. He's at 100 yards rushing and has two touchdowns in this one. So now here is Tua giving it to Damian Harris, and that's four yards up the middle and another touchdown as it is now 42 to 13. So now here we come back out on this next drive. Here is Montel Aaron just trying to put together a good drive. So here as he is facing some pressure. He breaks a tackle, rolled out to the left side this time, but facing another guy coming Bruh. up and taking a huge hit on Montel Aaron. He coughs it up, and just like that, a turnover and a touchdown as that is just the story of this game. We just did not have the talent to match Alabama as our defense could not stop their offense. And then after a while, we scored on the first drive, but Alabama said no more of that. As we only got to give the ball to Malik Roberson 10 times, I do want to give him the ball a little more, but we were playing catch up pretty much the whole game and we kind of got away from that game plan. We did get it to Josh Oliver quite a bit, seven receptions for 11 yards, 111 yards. And that's kind of what we wanted to do. So I actually like what I saw from Trey Hartley. I didn't expect him to be that good after the catch, but I actually liked what he was doing when he got the ball. So on the defensive end, I think Ethan Aguayo definitely had the best game. But remember, we only give out the player of the games if we get a win. So no a boost in awareness for any guys on our team going into next week. But, I mean, it was Alabama. And we did face Tua Tugavaloa, who was, uh, I believe he got second in the Heisman voting. And, I mean, he was a beast. I mean, it's just as simple as that. I mean, the run game couldn't be stopped. And, I mean, Hunter Hentage, I mean, he just went off. And it's it's just games like this make you realize what spots on your team that you need when you go up against more talented teams. And our defensive line, I got to admit, didn't do anything. And that's definitely something we'll have to address going into recruiting. So you don't want to miss next episode. Is It is the recruiting special. Remember, we do the special episode where we do high school highlights. We go in-depth with recruiting. It's going to be a fun episode. It's one of my favorite episodes each season, and you don't want to miss that. And we will do updates throughout the season with recruiting. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next episode. It's going to be nice. A lot of high school highlights, a lot of going over, a lot of the high school prospects and analyzing our team. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.